G'day gamers, I'm Talman, and I've been playing Lords of the Fallen, which I picked up in Cyber Monday sales. Lords of the Fallen is an action RPG similar to the Dark Souls games, with large challenging boss fights. Don't be put off dying, because part of the challenge is getting to know your enemies and learning their attack patterns and weaknesses. I will show you how to play my Executioner build from Deception Magic and Cleric starter sets. Here is a clip in New Game Plus highlighting the awesome power of this build. The main damage dealer is the shift spell. Once you start using this, Lords of the Fallen will be like easy mode. You can use shift to sneak up on enemies and destroy them before they have a chance. And once you get to know enemy placements, you can approach a group from the opposite angle to catch them all unaware. If you've already been seen, you still get a speed boost and insane damage. To get shift, you need 15 points in faith and 5 points in other deception spells. To max the shift spell, you need 21 in faith. The next important piece is Amulet of the Betrayer, which gives you a 40% damage increase but hurts you for 5 life. When used with shift, there is no life penalty. You will get this in various ways from the soldiers you meet after the infiltrator, the spidery armoured tripod. Google this item for more details. The best weapon to use is the Peacemaker, with a flawless luck rune, which requires 34 in strength. Nothing beats the Flawless Luck Rune in any weapon slot. You can only find a Peacemaker near the end of your first playthrough, so good alternatives oh. is the Last Will from the Chamber of Lies, close of to the Guardian's side entrance, and the Codex in the portal after defeating the Infiltrator. The armor I'm using is Symmetry, for the 15% two-handed stance bonus damage. You find this quite early, before the commander, but it's heavy, so you can't really benefit from the bonus without it affecting your movement speed. Keep your load in the green using light armor earlier. Cold blood set is a good choice from the catacombs. Your attribute points should mostly go towards faith firstly, to unlock shift. But unless you are confident with beating the commander, it may be better to get strength to 15 in order to wield persistence greatsword from the warden. After 15 faith, you should get strength up to use codex, which is 22 strength. Then perhaps endurance to 14. At endurance 14, you can roll, swing peacemaker twice before running out of energy. But at this early stage, it helps towards wearing better armor. Symmetry has 5 rune slots, so flawless and higher luck runes will help you wear it. Next, get faith to 21 to reach max shift level, then the rest into strength. Your main challenges will be from bosses, since Shift will not give you a free shot on them, so get to know their attack patterns to dodge their attack. Getting hit when shifted will revert your damage to normal, and also your Shift attack will take a little longer. An attack in their back will increase damage further. Thanks for watching, and you can help me out by doing the YouTube thing. Rate, comment, and subscribe.